So, welcome to uh, Polish Language for Beginners, part 2. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the numbers from 10 to 11 and the basic verbs in the past tense. So, let's get started. Uh, these are some personal pronouns. Uh, if you forgot, ja, I, te, you, on, ona, ono, he, she, it, me, we, the, you, oni, one, they. So last time we stopped at the number 10, which is 10. Today uh, we're gonna continue till 100 and let's start with 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I'm gonna pause here. Uh, to tell you that uh, uh, when we're talking from 11 till 19 uh, we always add nasty at the, at the end think of it uh, like the teen in English like 17 18 and we, we keep the first part of the word the same as the number for example jeden nasty so it's kind of simple not so simple, but it's really, uh, it makes sense. So let's go to number 20, 20. So here I'd like to grab your attention and notice that it's like the number 2, 2, adding 10 to it, 20. It's like 10. Uh, 10. So 20. It's like two tens. 30. The same. 40. 50. Notice that uh, in Polish language, every time we go over 4, uh, the number 4, we kind of change the endings. Uh, it's not important right now, but like keep this in mind. 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. 100 is really simple. I wish all the numbers were the same. However, for me, it's more fun to be to have all these uh, complicated words. Uh, okay, so let's go to verbs in past tense. Last time we talked about basic verbs to be, bitch, uh, in the present tense. Today I'm going to be talking about the past tense of it. So let's start. Ja, byłem, byłam, I was. So notice that uh, generally we always take the ending of the verb, uh, of the word. For example, C here and replace it by wem for guys or for male gender and one for female. T uh, bewesh for male, wash for female. The same. I'm removing the C, adding the wesh or wash for the female gender. You were on on a ono. So he was, we remove the C, we add the U, bu, on bu, ona, była, ono, było. This is for neutral. Uh, now, uh, when we're talking about plural, things are going to be different. And the female, uh, in the male, sorry, gender, uh, we're not going to replace the C, the ending with W. We're gonna replace it by L for uh, male gender. So me belishme. However, for female, we're gonna keep it the same. It's gonna be bewishme. The beliste for female bewishte. Keep in mind that uh, in plural, female uh, form is also used for objects. So if you have a uh, you're talking to an object, you can you, you should use the this form. This form here, liście, liśme, is for male gender human. Uh, uh, oni, one, for guys, billy, for women and uh, things and animals, uh, we, były, they were. Miecz, uh, to have, this is the present form. We talked about it, we're going to talk about the past form. Ja, the same as 
um, the other verb, bitch. However, here um, we're gonna change the E to A. I know it's kind of freaking you out, but it's okay. It's gonna be, it's kind of the same for every every verb, so don't worry about it. And I'm gonna explain why. Uh, so here uh, we also remove the uh, C and put, which is the CH, and put WEM or WAM uh, in, uh, in its place. However, we're also changing the E to A so it sounds better. So for, ex for example, MIA WEM. And not miewem because it sounds weird if you say miewem. So this is why when you're adding w, you're gonna have to change the e to a to a so it sounds more smoothly. I don't know. So the same te miawesh miawash for girls on ona ono miau miawa miawo me. Okay. So now because in plural we keep uh, the l not w. We don't have to change for uh, guys the E to A because it is L, still L, so nothing has changed. Me, mieliśmy. This is for plural male gender. However, here in the female gender, we're adding this W, so we have to change the E to A so it sounds better. So, sorry. Miałyśmy. Wy mieliście, the same concept for female miałyście oni one oni guys mieli one girls miały so keep this in mind whenever we're changing the w it's better to put uh, a in front of it if there's an e okay robić this is the present tense and the previous video i've talked about it let's talk about the Past tense, so the same, you remove the C, you put wem, wam, ja robiłem, robiłam, te robiłeś, robiłaś, robił, robiła, robiło, robiliśmy, robiłyśmy, robiliście, robiłyście, robili, robiły. Mówić, the same thing, we're changing the C. Uh, no, now here, uh, the, the, this is the present, yeah. Here, we're moving only the C. Uh, we put wem, wam, wesh, wash, mówiłem, mówiłem, mówiłaś, mówiłaś, mówił, mówiła, mówiło, mówiliśmy, mówiłyśmy. I'm just saying it so that you get used to the to the speaking part and listening. Uh, mówiliście, mówiłyście, mówili, mówiły. So let's talk about the examples and we'll be done. Uh, ja byłem lekarzem, I was a doctor. So you don't have to say ja. If you just say byłem lekarzem, I would know that you were a doctor. And I would know that you are a male talking about yourself. <coughs> because you said wem and not byłam. If you said byłam, it means that you're a girl. Um, my byliśmy... Mili, we were nice. So we're talking about guys because we kept the L. Byliśmy. One były kolorowe. They were colorful. So we're talking about female gender in plural because we. So you're saying, um, I don't know, girls were colorful, but it's more about here um, objects. So one były kolorowe, so we're, it's more likely we're talking about flowers, for example, or clothes. Um, so you use this form as well for objects, not only for female. Te miałeś jeden klucz. So miałeś, you had one key. Miałeś uh, for guys, otherwise it would have been miałaś. Co te robiłeś? What were you doing? Robiłeś for guys. Robiłaś for girls. Ja mówiłem po polsku. I was speaking Polish. Mówiłem. So a guy is saying this. Otherwise it would have been mówiłam. Ona miała owoc. So here she, is ha she had a fruit. Miała. Oni mieli dwa plecaki. They had two backpacks. You have noticed here. I'm kind of reminding you um, that 
we change uh, we keep I mean we keep the E if we're having the L however if we're gonna add W we're gonna have to change the E to A, uh, to A so it sounds better uh, and let's say that it was um, there were girls one mia we would say one miały dwa plecaki if it was for female gender but this is for guys so oni mieli dwa plecaki i guess that's all thank you everybody and see you soon